uh, each year, in addition to our uh, practice discussions, we always include a clinical discussion. Usually we like to choose something that is relatively not well known to uh, trainees and fellows uh, in rheumatology. How many of you all are familiar with the use of hyaluronans in the treatment of osteoarthritis? This is a, an integral part of most uh, practices, rheumatology practices, uh, for most of us uh, who treat patients with OA of the knee. Uh, and we have come to find it a very valuable uh, treatment. When I was in practice as managed care director of our group for a while, we actually tried to limit the number of knee replacements that were done, and it did not work and it's not going to. We're going to have more and more people with this disease, and the ratio of patients with osteoarthritis to rheumatoid arthritis is only going to increase in the next 10 years. So with rheumatoid arthritis, we're treating pain, but we're really trying to think about how we can stop something from destroying their lives later. Whereas with osteoarthritis, it's all about pain. Is there any disease modification in osteoarthritis? No. Are we likely to see it? Maybe. The natural history of osteoarthritis is not slow like rheumatoid arthritis is. It is slow, 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 slower even than that. So keep that in mind as well. And of course, we're not uh, primarily involved in the surgical intervention, but in a multi-specialty group, I can assure you that we act as screeners for these people, and we help them decide when it's time to go consider knee replacement so that the orthopedists are more in a position of being in the operating room rather than handling this. These molecules, particularly sodium hyaluronate, is very different than anything we've ever used. Very different. These molecules are huge. Sodium hyaluronate is a very, very, very interesting molecule. And as a chemistry major and a physics major, I can't help but be amazed at what this molecule does. This is a very long chain. All it is is um, two sugars hooked together in a repeating pattern, N-acetylglucosamine, next one, boom, 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 all along a double dimer chain that just goes on for, for miles. When you think about it, if you're sitting down, okay, and you're gonna stand up, what happens to your knees when you're gonna stand up? You have extra pressure, and you're asking it to slide at the same time. You need something that will be more slippery when you move. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck. And patients will come in and talk about how it, it clicks, and they kind of get this stick when they do this, and they do this, and you look at them, and you can't see all that much until you realize that if you don't have this micro layer of sodium hyaluronate on the top of your cartilage, you're not going to move very well. So these are some of the other effects that HAs have been shown to have, particularly sodium hyaluronate. It will inhibit cell migration and phagocytosis, decreases prostaglandins, um, et cetera.